The town of Hackensack is filled with plenty of action today as one of its biggest fall events has begun. Our Brenda Mack takes us to the 12th annual Chainsaw Sculpture event on this week's In Focus. A log has never looked more alive than it did today in Hackensack. These guys do beautiful work. Drawing an endless crowd. Thousands of people here. 12 carvers from all over the country. We've been looking forward to it for months. 10 to 15 foot branches and trunks are gradually sculptured into masterpieces within hours. It's amazing yeah. what they can do with chainsaws yeah. and, and the little intricate areas that they touch up with. It's unbelievable. Yet before fueling up their tool, these artists have already started planning ahead. I know everybody's going to have bears and things like that, so I try to do something a little bit different. At the same time, considering the time limit and the kind of wood that is provided. Some places you go at smaller pieces of wood, and here they got some really nice pieces this year. Sometimes they have branches on them and things like that. It might change your mind what you're going to make. And these sculptors work fast. I enjoy the speed at which you can make something. The chainsaw, you know, you go real fast. And with a woodwork this size, it would only take about a day to complete. I love being around other carvers. Kind of neat to carve alongside them and stop once in a while and watch other people. For a local art teacher, working with a diverse group is inspiring. And they're all so helpful. We kind of learn from each other. So every time I leave an event, I pick up new tips and I'm a little bit better an experience she's excited to share with her classroom. I was just about to record some video too because then I go back and share it with my students so they can see that what we do in the classroom I do out in real life too. Yeah. For this week's In Focus, Brenda Mack, Little News. And there's still time to catch the artists in action. More sculptures will be completed through Sunday. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.